She's unique in that she's the only one doing it. Not just being a band leader, but being in a wider band, period. That's very contrary to autumn tradition. People keep her at a distance, it seems to be. And I think because of that, that, that strong, because she is a very strong autumn woman, that she's able to do what she does. The reservation itself is uh, the, the second largest in the United States. It has about 2,700,000 acres of land. And when that international boundary was put there in 1854, it totally disregarded the fact that about half of the, of the so-called Tohono O'odham lived south of the border and the other half lived up here north of the border. So the Indians weren't consulted when the boundary line was drawn between uh, United States and Mexico. Over time, uh, the majority of, of Adam living in, uh, in Mexico have either assimilated, and that's certainly not all of them, uh, or they migrated up to Arizona in large numbers. There are a lot of female musicians out there. Yeah, on them on the Thon Autumn Reservation, and they're very good. Uh, they're much younger than I am, you know. I don't know of anyone leading the band. For the longest time, if you wanted to hear wild or chicken scratch music, um, you had to go out to the Thon Autumn Reservation or you had to go to El Casino Ballroom uh, when a family had uh, reserved it for an event. Parties of any kind, uh, birthdays, First Holy Communions, baptisms, uh, graduations, any kind of, of celebration. So that you get people in these wild bands who are, you know, they're somehow their cousins or their they're somehow related and they get together and they practice and they and they play.
I think music's always had a huge role in autumn life, um, even pre-contact. Uh, I think that's one of the reasons uh, most people agree, including autumn historians, that uh, the Catholic faith was so embraced, uh, readily embraced, because they um, had such beautiful song. So first was the Spanish mission period, when uh, first the Jesuits and then the Franciscans uh, introduced violins, guitars, probably side drums too for playing in processions. Then in the 1840s and 50s and 60s, a huge wave of European dances uh, came into this region. Two-step or shotish, chote in Adam, chotis in, in uh, Spanish, uh, and then much, much later the cumbia. Finally, in the 20th century, first 30, 40 years of the 20th century, uh, one of the things you do with young Indians to turn them into uh, useful white citizens is uh, put them in boarding schools and uh, put the boys in uniforms and have them form marching bands. 20, 30 years ago, if you played out on the Autumn Reservation anywhere, you played outside or under a modder or on a basketball court and you know, probably would have taken a 300-foot extension cord to get power out that way because frequently there weren't even lights out there. You just played under the stars. One or two guitars, one then playing a snare drum, instrumentation that apparently was in place in Autumn culture when uh, the polka hit the Southwest.